What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibor here for T3G, and I want to give you guys a quick explanation of what this project is about. I'm calling it the Nexus 100 for a couple reasons, but it draws its inspiration from the 100, a project that's been online for, from what I can tell, for a while. A lot of people are involved. Usually, it's people taking a hundred days to create a comic or work on their comic. And usually they're creating update videos and things like that. Most people daily. I personally heard about it from my friend, Mike. This is his YouTube page. He is working on his comic. He just did a 24 hour comic run. He, he ran about 17 hours before his body gave out. I understand. I slept last night and I'm feeling tired as hell today. So I get that staying up for 17 hours, just working on one thing is a killer but he's uh he's about halfway through his uh, second run he did this last year as well and uh, i'm super proud of what he's what he's accomplished so far he's doing a lot of progress on his characters on his story everything so this is his his 100 and he inspired me to create my own now i don't specifically have a comic for myself i do i do have a comic for my company nexus studios nexus studios is our company we've been in operation for about four yeah four years now um we do a lot of different stuff creative media is kind of creative media is kind of the the big bag i put it all in uh we are a creative media company we've done everything from website and logo design to book book cover design as well as currently we're working on a children's book so we're doing the illustration and everything for that top to bottom from that and our love of creation and, and, and media came what you guys are most familiar with T3G originally conceived as just a tech channel uh, where we just review tech, things like that. It's evolved to more of a all inclusive thing. We do a lot of nerdy stuff. We go to a lot of conventions. We go to car shows during the summer, any kind of fun we can have. That's what we're doing. And on top of that, we still do our tech reviews. We still do our gaming videos on Fridays, all kinds of good stuff. And now with this, we're going to have daily vlogging. I meant to start it on last week's Friday, but then Saturday and Sunday turned into one vlog, which is log 36 there. And uh, subsequently that took so much editing and it involved so many other things that it actually ran so long that I just went up yesterday so technically the Nexus 100 day one is going up today, but I did record it on Monday. So this whole thing started on Monday. All of this is about is me putting in equal amounts of time and effort into all of these pieces of the pie as it were. Every single day I'm doing some sort of work to, to overall better Nexus and everything else involved. So I've made Monday, T3G day. Since we have a tech video that's due out Monday, you guys saw this Monday's tech video that was cranked out last minute. Uh, it just kind of dawned on me. I was actually editing vlog 36 and that was just kind of, oh man, I can totally do this video real fast and it's a useful video. Tuesday is Deadweight Day. Deadweight is a company that we acquired recently. Oh, recently, relatively recently. And it's a gaming company. And uh, we have a game out on Steam right now, G Shift. And uh, we've got some stuff in development com coming soonish. And on Deadweight Day, you know, I worked on the site. I actually added this little graphic down here. The site was way out of date, as you guys, I'm sure, noticed. The last post was a year ago almost. So it's just one of those things that we were focusing on sales and not focusing on the site and it's it's really got to be a more cohesive thing so at least once a week there's going to be dedicated content creation where this is what i'm going to be doing i mean it might be anything from posting new stuff you know creating new new posts for the site or creating new content for you know the social media aspect of deadweight or something as simple as gameplay where you know i can show off the game and, and the different areas and levels of how it works wednesday on my calendar which is on my wall to to keep things in mind was actually meant to be write my epic day and write my epic is something that i really want to build up and make bigger it is intended to be a place where you can just post your stories and write stories and create whether it be fiction, nonfiction, whatever you want. I want to, I want people to be, have access and have an easy access to, 
to put something out there that is available for people to read. Mainly, honestly, it started as a as a place where I could put my stories. I, I write, I've been writing since high school, uh, at least. I had no place to put all this stuff. Like I have notebooks full of no, of concepts and ideas and, and short stories and all this stuff. And it just sat there. When the internet was just starting to kind of be big, I had a, a website called Millennial Talent, which I think I invented the term millennial because now everybody's being called millennials and I thought it was funny. That was just me, but it was an angel fire website and actually was hosted up until a few years ago. It might even still be up. I don't, I don't remember. I haven't looked. I got all the stuff off of it. I had a bunch of art. Uh, it was, again, it was similar to this where people could post their stuff, their artwork, their stories, whatever, their poetry. And that's kind of what I wanted to recreate, but on a grander scale. Uh, so that's what Write My Epic is. So that was supposed to be yesterday. That's actually going to be today. So I'm going to be plotting out how to get the site to where I want it to be conceptually. And then Thursdays is proper Nexus day. And that's where I normally work on Nexus. But I did that yesterday. I went ahead and got uh, a bunch of stuff scanned at Staples. I'll actually show you guys a sneak peek of the children's book that we are working on. This is an early concept sketch. This is this is where we are for this children's book it's it's uh it's a, it's this cute little girl and her dragon and she's telling them stories and kind of that's the concept of the series and uh there's there's more to it but eventually once it's once it's ready I'll, I'll i'll share that we're working on that so i actually had to go back to staples because they completely scanned it incorrectly i'll show you guys one of the pages i'll show you guys the first page and this is the original scan so this is how it was scanned originally and when I opened it, I lost my mind because I couldn't believe it looked that that bad. And then this is the actual colors once it was scanned. You can see a uh, significant difference there in saturation and quality. Everything was hand colored. It took quite a bit of time to get everything done. We're, we're proceeding with getting the book finished and all the text put in so that can get done. Obviously there's three other days in the week. And with that, what we'll be doing is Fridays, uh, we will be doing gaming. So that would be, and actually should have opened that to begin with, twitch.tv slash T3G gaming. So Fridays will be about gameplay. We'll be recording gameplay, putting up gameplay on, on, on Twitch, on YouTube. So that's what Fridays will be about. And Saturday and Sunday are going to be my learning days. I am in the midst of a Unity course. So my basic structure for all of these days is as follows. 30 minutes to work on the comic. And the comic is itself part of Nexus. And that is, I'll give you guys another sneak peek. This was uh, one of one of our board members. Jeez, it's such a weird thing to say, but whatever. One of our board members designed the actual... Uh, graphic and then the the Wolfpack font was picked out by a, uh, a designer of ours who is absolutely aces one of my favorite people to work with he just cranks it out so he is absolutely one of my favorite people to work with that's my 30 minutes a day so that's kind of the, the main basis behind the 100 that's what Mike is working on is 30 minutes a day minimum on this link Ch check out check out his link for space Gat on that website i forget what it is right now but uh that's where the digital comic is going to be going uh he's got two different formats which i thought was really really interesting uh, he's got a digital format which is the little more all ages book and then he's going to be creating a physical comic as well which will be more of a serious book but yeah, so that's my 30 minutes a day. And then for each of those days that I, that I mentioned, the Nexus day, the T3G day, I want to put an hour of work into those every single day. And then on top of that, I'm super sore because on Monday I started going to the gym again. I skipped two days, which I really wanted to follow Mike's no, never two days advice uh, and rule. But I am so incredibly sore just today. I'm just today, I'm being able to. I'm I'm able to lift my arms without much pain. So I went a little a little ham. You guys will see that in the first video. Now I'm gonna get into a routine and and go go walk today. It might still rain. If it doesn't, I might walk. 
or I might go to the gym tonight. So that's my two kind of two hour commitment, which will likely and almost always does turn into more than that. 30 minutes isn't going to be my cutoff if I'm just in the zone and it's really flowing out. But if it's something where, you know, I'm really working hard on it, but it's just not coming out. It's a nice cutoff because then you can say, all right, it's not working right now. I'm going to walk away. So then you're not writing garbage. You're going to come back and you're going to give it a, you know, a fresh mindset the next day. Oh, this is where I really needed to go with that. That's it for this little intro. Hopefully this didn't go too long. Check out day one and any of the days that are happening. And then we'll still have our Monday tech videos, our Friday gameplay videos, and any event videos. Like we're going to a couple comic cons during the summer. And of course the big one for the fall, definitely going to Grand Rapids. That was such a blast last year. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I'm Dalibor for the Nexus signing off.